I feel like what's unique will forever, for the end of time, be relevant. You know, no matter what category or what anything that's in. I done love music my whole life, so, you know, growing up, I always wanted to be a rapper at first. In order to do that, I needed some beats, so I started to make my own beats. And at that time, I was 13, like even seeing the success of like Soldier Boy and making his own beats, it was like, it's possible. 10th grade, I started to, um, you know, get some traction with people online and out of town, started making trips to Atlanta, like this, that, and the third. Worked with OJ the Juice Man, Don Cannon, and from that, Juice introduced me to Gucci. I'm like in 12th grade, you know, I linked with Future before. So basically to create a song or create anything, I just need to be comfortable. Ideas for songs and tracks and beats and everything, they hit me at all type of times. Mostly when I'm outside of the studio, just living life. You know what I'm saying? I feel like as creatives, a lot of people put themselves so much in what they're doing, like at their art, that at the same time, we sometimes forget to live because that's what inspires what we do. My bitch is bad and bullshit, bad. Cooking up dope with a oozy. Me and Amigos history, it, it, it's so crazy that Bad and Bougie came to be one day because our history goes way before that and beyond that. We used to always go to this club on Friday called Mansion. You know, they had the bando song just came out, it started popping. You know, we would go to Mansion every Friday, turn up, go back to Sunny House studio, do songs, do whatever. It's always been like a relationship with us. Like we all went to LA for the first time in our lives together. All our first LA trip, you gotta think coming from Atlanta, St. Louis, like going somewhere to LA, it's like out the country. Me and Amigos, we got to watch each other grow. Me and Thug, we got to watch each other grow. Like, me and Trav, we got to watch each other grow. One thing that's important to me is always just as a producer, making sure every artist that I'm working with, that the track, I look at it like directors or some of the movie and the scene. Like, you need to have certain backdrops are better on other people. And at the same time, knowing that consciously, but also be willing to try other things and be like, okay, I know people are used to you with this kind of backdrop, but what if we all the way switched it up and did this? I can't believe that Jumpman was Future's first top 20 song. Niggas was sleep. Turn on the lights? Never end? When I saw Taylor Swift in the gym, I think it was their treadmill, I believe, doing the Jumpman thing the Apple had, I was just like, you know, it, it was great, man. It was a moment. When me and Future, like, it's easy. We got the chemistry. I was 18 and just like ready. You know what I'm saying? That's like teammates on the basketball team and just over time. I think if you've been on the same team with somebody for 11 years, 12 years, like we always down. Like, I just like I know every day he's in the studio, he knows every day I'm doing the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, every we both know that, so. You know, anytime we link up, it's just, it's easy. When I'm making music, how I approach it really depends on what I'm working on specifically. Whether that's the artist or the album, especially in the new digital world, I feel like a lot of the old and analog ways are getting lost. So I still like to write certain ideas. I have a couple books of just certain stuff that I write down that I can always go to. If it's like a beat, or maybe a melody or something I have in my head, and I'm not even the best singer or anything, but I like do it on my phone, like vocally type thing. A lot of times if I'm working with songwriters, we'll really usually, a lot of times, just start with some ideas. It might be just some basic, like some chords or some melodies. And it might just be like something like that, something more bare, but vice versa. Like a lot of times, sometimes with rappers and people that more so uh, have to rely on like the flows and the um, pockets and the cadences they could catch. Sometimes I might uh, do a bare drum track like on the MPC and they just rap over that type of thing. Tuesday club going up on a Tuesday. All my boys, we used to see McConan on World Star. I ended up meeting him, linking with him or whatever. And one day we was at my house, because we used to record a lot of stuff at my house back in the day. So I had McConan over there one day and I just called Sonny, I called Southside and I called TM. Like, man, y'all gotta pull up. Like, this nigga's crazy. Use voice, everything, it's crazy. I always try to pride myself in always being a producer first, like a producer to serve the artists and serve the people with the music. Because everybody I work with, I'm a fan of first. And working with Post is great. Uh, 
Post just a great guy, man. You know, some somebody else that, you know, we crossed paths both early in our careers, like way before even that. I remember when I first met him when I was on tour with Travis and Thug, the rodeo tour in Dallas. I mean, even to do congratulations, like it was just natural. I feel like I make the best music and mesh well with people that I actually like and we respect each other. And you know, it just makes it easier to get to that common goal. Cause I don't be one niggas to be in the studio and be worried about like, oh man, Metro probably gonna try to take this song for his album. Uh, I'm more than confident in, in my ability to make whatever I need for whatever I got going on. So like for we did Creepin', Savage knew and Abel knew. I love working with A because it's like, we both respect each other so much as creatives and each other's like minds and like, but we also just both challenge each other at the same time. And I feel like that's how you get some of the freshest shit. Never being too like complacent with what you got or what you're doing. Like a lot of times we'll have a song and it'll be real hard. I might think it's real hard already and he'll just try to come with some, I don't know, just like, okay, this is still hard, but like, what if we do this or do this and like really like flip it upside down on his head and like, you know? My personal life is always gonna affect my music and writing music and producing music. Cause I feel like we all go through stuff. Since I started making beats or even producing songs, like I've always went off how I was feeling too. You know what I'm saying? Some days I might be in this mood to make this type of beats or not even in the mood, but just like something might happen. It's like, man, I'm just about to make some beats out of this. Like just out of, not out of this, but just out of this feeling. Like what I'm going through this right here, just even more so like, so this not for nothing. One of the people that's giving me the most direction, I feel like is Solange. Working with her on, on that one time was just like, it was great because I could always respect because I know what it takes respecting an artist like who knows what they want and know the goal in sight. Sometimes you go to the studio with artists and like, you know, everybody just want to hit. People be like, oh, I, I want this. I want a club banger. Or like, you know what I'm saying? But like to be able to articulate like your end goal and where we're trying to make it to together. So then, OK, we have something in sight to go towards. When I know a song is done, it's more so it's something more so that I could feel versus that I could hear. Being so in tune with the music, being able to just feel like, I want to play this all the time. Uh, it sounds great right now. It sounds great when I'm in the car and the gym is getting me through. Like, that's really how much, how I know. What do I want Metro Boomin's legacy to be? I want it to be just known in the undisputed fact that I put a thousand percent of my effort in every time. No matter the result, you know, and you can hear and tell like, Yo, there's effort and thought into this. I'm more than anything I want my legacy to be somebody who inspired a lot of others. You young, you watching this, or even if you're not young, you watching this, I'll say, stay down, run your own race. Keep your morals intact, and just stay down and be patient. Like, I promise that it's the, it's the patience. <laughs>